They're dead now. Right, go for it. Squid game. Oh, what? <laughs> Sex the skeleton. It's Claire's previous husband. Morning guys. Welcome to this week's vlog. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you want. Even if you don't want, that would be it'd be really nice if you could like and subscribe. You join me in the garden this fine Saturday morning. It's time to cut the grass. The grass is looking great, it's looking really nice and healthy. Probably a little bit longer. Uh, could have cut it maybe a few days ago, but I was waiting for a replacement blade. Apparently it's important to use a fresh blade when you're cutting a new lawn. Um, so, gonna cut it on the highest setting. Uh, also, we've got mushrooms. Are they gone? No, uh, where did they go? We had mushrooms here. They've disappeared. Where have they gone? Do they just go? The mushrooms disappear? Which has worried me a little bit because a few of you guys were saying that um, if there's mushrooms growing, it means that the soil's good or something. I don't know. They're dead now. Anyway, I've been testing the grass almost every day, just tugging on it, and that is, I mean, if I pull, I'm going to pull the grass off. So that's in. That's got to be in there, isn't it? So let's give it a little trim and hope to God. I've, no one's stepped on this grass yet. No one's been anywhere near the middle of this grass, so I hope to God that the middle of the grass is as firm as the outside. I'm nervous. <laughs> It feels really weird to walk on. The ground's really soft. Sounds soggy. Soft. Are you sinking into it? A little bit, yeah. So I've started cutting the grass, but the, the ground feels really soft. Oh my god, this grass is going to give me a heart attack though. I don't. I, it needs to be cut, look at it. It's going to die underneath. I do Ground is like, when I'm standing on it, it's, the ground's going down. Like I'm walking on sponge. Well, that was what, that's why you weren't allowed to walk on the grass when it was first laid, because you would just sink into it and mark it. I mean, he did say, the guy said, what, like two weeks and then you can walk on I it? I know, I mean, it's been almost four weeks. Right, I've abandoned grass cutting. It's just making me too nervous. The, the, the ground feels too soft. I don't know if there's a problem with the drainage. It has rained quite a lot recently, to be fair. Which I thought was great for the grass. Because it's growing like mad. It's obviously growing well, but like my, f my, my foot's sinking in to the grass. And obviously the most important thing <laughs> that we wanted was a nice flat garden. Uh, apparently we're gonna have a few days of no rain. So I'm hoping that it will dry out and firm up a bit, but you are right, Hazel. It feels like I'm walking on sponge. You can see my foot going into the into the grass there. <sighs> Nothing can be easy. Anyway, that's my big day of gardening done then, I guess. Right, after uh, pottering about in the garden, getting rid of some leaves and tidying things up. I jet washed the uh, dog area where she likes to take a Claire's saying to cut the grass. You're saying just go for it? Yeah. I mean, the problem is, if it's not draining properly, then we're gonna have to get people back anyway. I don't know. It might be fine and we're, and it's, it's gone all yellow underneath. <sighs> right, go for it. See what happens. All right. After a quick chat again, we're not, um, we're not cutting the grass. Claire said to just cut it. I, not, then I felt how deep your footprints were. Um, I'm, I'm not comfortable cutting it. Uh, that was where I started cutting the grass. You can see what I was going for. Well, I've got ready all the leaves, tidied up. We've cleaned Paisley's pen. Get some little potted plants, some colour along here. Yeah. It's going to be good next year. Oh, wasn't a huge success in the garden. You're recording this time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, someone keeps forgetting to press record on the camera. It's always a bit annoying, isn't it? 
It was a bit of a waste I'll of time. I'll tell you what's annoying about it, is that I've made two trips to B&Q this morning. <laughs> I know. Uh, I feel like I've done the work. It just doesn't look like I've done the work. Yeah. We had I, a big... I, I don't know what to do with the grass. We're running a bit of a catch-22 here. We're worried that the grass is going to get too long and underneath is going to die. We don't want to get it too long. So we want to cut it. But when I went to cut it, super spongy sinking. and sinking down and not bouncing back up again. No, your footprints were like indents. Like divots. So... So instead we decided to stop all that and uh, watch um, Squid Game on Netflix because apparently if you haven't watched it, you, 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 you're you don't alive. exist. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's been recommending it to us as well in the comments. I fixed the heating. No, it's too hot. <laughs> now we're all sweating because we've, we've not been used to it. No, it's not too hot now. It's nice. It's a nice temperature in here. I'm hot. I don't I'm see wearing, this. I'm wearing a woolly hat. Yeah, Anna. I think the garden's killed our buzz. I was all ready yeah. this morning. I ordered us a nice little Starbucks, which is becoming a little Saturday, Saturday tradition. The boys had some hot chocolates. We were gonna tidy up the garden, get the Halloween stuff out, have a productive Saturday, and then a little bit of fun with the kids doing the Halloween stuff, but I can't be bothered anymore. I feel a bit deflated. Yeah, I'm annoyed now. Maybe tomorrow, maybe we'll start again Sunday. <sighs> oh well, let's watch some squid. Watch, watch an episode of this, see what it's all about, see what the hype's about. I'm gonna say this now. I just think the grass is I'm annoyed about it. Don't worry about the grass just yet. Take a, take a break from thinking about the grass. I'm going to say this now. I don't think it's as good as people make it out it's going to be. Because, they, because it never is. Anyway, we'll let you know. Just this second, finish watching the first episode of Netflix hit series Squid Game. First impressions, Claire? Um, yeah, it's good when people started getting shot. <clears throat> Took a while to get there. But I guess now's going to be good. The last, what, 10 minutes were good? I know. We'll see. It was all right. First episode was all right. Uh, my verdict is, it's okay. I wouldn't go as far to say it was good. <laughs> he's trying to play... Uh, can, can you guys hear that? He's trying to play White Stripes. Don't get me wrong. Much better entertainment than what we're serving up. I can shoot you if you want. Yeah. I can't go in. <laughs> <laughs> Just ordered a curry. What else are we going to do on a Saturday night? Episode four. <laughs> oh, I was trying to read. Um, we're on episode four of Squid Game. Although I don't trust that, that clever guy. Well, the grass is still. F we're still worried about the grass, but we got curry. We have got something on the television. Boys are eating their dinner right now. <laughs> Let's just take the little wins and forget about the huge, huge losses. <laughs> Focus on the little wins. Anyway, right. let's play this. All right. Yeah, what's this guy getting special treatment for? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that all about? <laughs> Sad when he dies. Like him, little old fella. No, no, don't care. So does he make it? Oh, look at him. I know. It'll take a whole lot more to kill with you. Tails are nice. Got some moon dome running through this heart, huh? <laughs> you gonna get your son some water? What did he say? Harrison wants water. <laughs> Do you want to slam doors harder? This is a little thing that me and Harrison do together, especially. It's our little thing, isn't it? Over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, he's been getting into NFL. We've been watching the Rams, and they played during the week, which I didn't know. So we've got a whole game to watch on replay. I don't know the result. And there was a guy on Talk Sport saying something about somebody played the Rams. Seahawks? Yeah. Is that the game? Mm -hmm. I think they lost. The Rams? No, the Seahawks. Oh, Why are you telling me this? 
I'm just about to go and watch it. I don't know. I actually don't know. I can't remember. Unbelievable. I can't remember. That's why I said it. I think. I can't this remember is, what This one. is what happens if you don't watch sport live. I remember you, you and the kids were up in Scotland, I think, one weekend. <laughs> and Michael Bisping was fighting in the US, UFC as a potential first ever British belt holder for UFC. So I had my, all, my weekend all planned out. Obviously, it, like they do it at like 3 o'clock in the morning or something. So I had it taped and I was going to watch it in the morning. So I woke up, got to about 10 o'clock and I was like, oh, I'll buy myself some Pringles or something. And, uh, you know, so, like, because everyone was away. And Who was... texted you? No one texted me. Woke up, jumped in the car. What's the radio station I always have on in the car? Talk sport. Well, that was stupid. Should have turned it off. Turned the car on. First thing to come out. And Britain has its first ever UFC champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'd paid for it and anything. <laughs> so you didn't even get a chance? No. Honestly, it was as soon as I and Britain has its first UFC <laughs> champion. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> anyway. So you should have got your sh** the night before. No, I didn't need to, I was all was <laughs> planned. Yeah, but you should never go, if you want to watch something like that. Never leave the house. Don't leave the house, don't go on your phone. Yeah. Well, if, if you plan to do I've it, avoided, do it all I've the day before. Everything. Yeah, but there you go. Episode four, Squid Game. We did that at the same time. Because mm. we're cool. Money's going up. Also, we, kept, we have to keep going on currency exchange because they keep going yeah we keep wanting oh, to know how much money the prize is. money now is 26 billion and we're like oh what is that right shh do you think they'll do the games so in there like during the last game they'll like break out or something they will stop being about the games but trying to escape i don't know can we watch it what talking to you about it <laughs> discussing Carrie! Oh, it might be John. It's John. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's half past eight. I woke up really early this morning. Don't know why. Been up since like half five. James is still in bed. The kids are up and we've decided we're going to make pancakes this morning for breakfast. So, I've got... Little Betty Crocker Bisquick pancake and bacon mix. So I'm gonna get that started. I'm sure they'll wanna help. What do I need? One cup of milk, two eggs. Harrison and Jude! Come here. Oh, I've only got two eggs left. Thank goodness. I was wondering if you boys wanted to. That's Jude's, yeah. Jude, I got you your cool. Halloween costume. Whoa. Right, do you want to help me make the pancakes or do you just want me to go, they're ready? I wanna help. You wanna help, come here then. Right, pull a chair up to the side, like we do. Harrison, do you wanna help? Yeah. Right, you come to this side. So you just mix it all together. So two cups of the mix, one cup of milk and two eggs. So here's the measurements, half a cup, one cup. Do you want to know a fun fact about these measuring cups? Yes. Paul Hollywood gave me these. Really? Yeah. Well, he gave them to Dad. Oh. Um, but he said, because Dad told him when James was on the Bake Off, Dad was like, yeah, my wife likes to bake a bit. And then he gave Dad a few little bits, got another. Oh, wow. Gave in there. Wow. wow. Right, Harrison, you stand up. <clears throat> now, very carefully. See the whole pour uh, a whole cup into that. Okay. Right. Pull that in. Okay. Harrison, pour a cup of milk. Okay, I can do this. Yeah. What are your hands doing in there? Get them out of there. Bit more. Keep going. Come oh on. Gosh. Come on. <laughs> Right, that'll do. Now we need two eggs. Can I'm I? Do I am doing. I am eggs. really good. I can't be bothered. I am really up. good as well. I can't be bothered cleaning I up. I swear. We are now mixing it together. 
You want a little turn it mixing? Mm. Mm. Try and get all the lumps up. It's a strange dance, we, Jude. We could right, just, let Jude have a little mix. We could get a, we could get a cheese grater and just grate some chocolate. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. What? Right, let's get the pan heated up. Heat. Better heat the heat up. Is that the bake off? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> That's a perfectly round pancake. If that works out, that'll be great. Oh, that looks like an IHOP pancake. Oh, yeah. Here's our little Halloween tray. Sexy Cook. skeleton. <laughs> oh, is that a sexy skeleton? I don't know, he's just doing his, like a sexy pose. <laughs> A little Halloween serving plate that we can put them on. This oh no, guys! What, what, what? I've just tried to flip it and it's stuck. It's not ready oh. to flip. It's sticking. It's not ready. Well, it's not that it's not ready. It's sticking. Okay, that is stuck. Yeah. Uh, oh, you didn't spray the pan. Oh come on, <laughs> that's not. Well, that's yes, that's of course why it's <sighs> sticking. It looks like scrambled egg. <laughs> All right. Oh, sure. Okay, take two. We messed up. Yeah. I blame Jude. What? <laughs> Go compare. <laughs> it's sticking on the bit that's already stuck. What? It's not sticking on the pan, but it's sticking on this bit. Oh my god. Oh. I am not doing good. I think I need another pan. Right, I've lost the boys. <laughs> I'm taking too long. This is going to be the third attempt. I don't know what, I'm just rubbish at this stuff. Attempt number three. Here we go. I think this one might work. Oh, you're back. I'm sorry, I was playing the guitar. I heard. Ooh. Oh, you're back as well. I should play my guitar. <clears throat> okay, we have a pancake. People, we have a pancake. I want mine to be like a burger, <laughs> but not, but like with biscuit in the inside. Oh, okay. Go. I washed my go. hands thoroughly. Oh, no, good, you didn't do that no, before you started two. making the pancakes? No. What am I? I called dibs on it first. No, you called dibs on that one. Yeah, but then I called dibs on this one. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did, did I, Mum? I don't know. I did. Oh, that's better. You can see now. All right, breakfast is ready for everybody. Ended up not too bad with the pancakes in the end. Got some raspberries, some strawberries, some bits to put on it, and Jude wanted to grate some chocolate. <laughs> right, James has joined us now that all the work's done. This is great, guys. Whose idea was this? Mine. Pass the syrup, please. I've got to just go and get the last one. Bam. Well, classic. Everybody's eaten and everybody's left. So I've got to tidy up. Right, go on H, let's see what you can do. Good. Nice. Jude's got his ukulele. Very nice. I like your t-shirt, Jud. Thanks. All right, squid game. Back at it. Oh, did you hear my neck there? Oh, that's why you don't open a window. That is the loudest fly in the world. Look, he's trying to get back out again. Just go out the way you came, you idiot. Go, go, right, go, shut it. <laughs> Fly's gone. Block them. 
Never close it without locking it, because then you'll go to bed and you'll forget. I don't believe anybody's that good a person. Actually, him. That's that finished. Squid Game finished. Most watched Netflix show ever. <clears throat> ever? Yep. Ending was rubbish. I mean, I would watch it because it's watchable. It's pretty good. Definitely watchable. <clears throat> nice, interesting idea. Kill some time. Mm -hmm. No, it was good. Oh, was that right? It was all right. The, the... I think it does a really good thing of an interesting story that isn't complicated. Yeah. It's an interesting story, but you know what's going on and you know what's happening while it happens. It doesn't confuse you. It doesn't make you think too much. I'm going to go and watch uh, the Rams game with Harrison now. Okay. <laughs> Hello, um, it's Monday morning, unfortunately it's just me <laughs> today, James is streaming on Twitch, uh, the kids are at school, I am going to make a start on the Halloween decorations because we keep putting it off and putting it off, yesterday um, because the boys wanted to put decorations in their playroom and stuff, I was like okay well you have to tidy your playroom because it's a mess, anyway by the time the playroom and the bedroom and the kitchen and living room were clean and tidy. Nobody, including the children, could be bothered doing Halloween decorations. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a start today. So I guess this might be a time lapse. So let's go. We like to fill old wine bottles and stuff. I bought these like cool labels and the kids like to put water in them and then food dye. Got some lights, got some bunting, some napkins. This is all the stuff out from the box earlier. I need to go and get my trick or treat sign which is out in the garage. But that's all the Halloween stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> Is the Halloween stuff. <laughs> okay, well, let's start decorating. And he used to brag about how he killed a guy on one of those boats by throwing him overboard. This is the scariest decoration of all. It's yeah. an, an ugly one, isn't it? Uh. Claire's previous husband. <laughs> 